In this video, I'm going to be finishing my teddy bear sculpture. In a past video, I showed how I sculpted this teddy bear solid, and then I carved it out with clay, cut it in half, carved off all the clay, and then I was left with this teddy bear sculpture. I wasn't sure how to glaze it, so I decided I was just going to cover it with graffiti and a bunch of stickers, and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So first I started off, I realized that the teddy bear was a little rough, and in order for the stickers to stick to them, I really needed them smooth, like the sculpture smooth, so I went outside with a mask and I sanded it all down. The reason I was really cautious by wearing a mask is, even though I'm outside, is because I actually inhaled resin and it's given me a really bad cough for the last 8 weeks, um, so I'm not going to be taking any risks anymore. So once it was all smooth, I printed out on an 8.5, just normal 8.5 by 11 printer paper, um, a bunch of my stickers, but this was not sticker paper. So the reason for this is because I'm going to be using Mod Podge, which is basically a glue that clear coats the uh, paper and seals it to the sculpture. I started off by just adding a bunch of random graffiti stuff though. I wanted to just sort of add like a few filler things like, with Posca pens. Um, you won't even see these in the end of the sculpture, um, they're really hidden. Um, and that's just because uh, I wanted to fill the piece with as much color as I want or I could, and so you couldn't see any of the white. So I started off by just using Posca pens. Later on, I did end up using a lot more Posca pens too. Um, go after I had connected all the stickers, which you'll see that too. Uh, so I started by just cutting out every single um, pr uh, sticker that I had designed. Once I had all my stickers printed out onto printer paper, I just cut them out, and I wanted to make sure that these stickers were thin because then they would bend better over the surface. I had some troubles bending the printer paper to this to the shape of the the teddy bear because the teddy bear has a bunch of crevices and cracks that I can't really fit into um, so like this skull that I just pasted onto the arm of the teddy bear um, it did crack a little bit and uh, the paper did um, fold a little bit which I cover up with Posca pens later um, and, and eventually this entire teddy bear will be full now I don't know if I ruined the teddy bear or not um, whether I like it but I do think that it's kind of cool and creative, I've never done something like this before, um, so I think it was fun, and it was definitely a cool process just to cut out a bunch of my stickers and collect them all, and then just slap them right onto this teddy bear. It was kind of cool, and it, it, uh, it's a very noisy piece. I really enjoyed the Mod Podge -Maj process, um, Mod Podging it onto there, because it was just kind of relaxing, it wasn't really hard work, and I could just zone out and just cover this thing with whatever I wanted. I covered it with doodles, um, and I, I even drew a Thick Among Us on there, I drew uh, cheese, uh, frogs, I drew whatever I wanted. Um, and then around the piece I also hid some like Pac-Man, chasing a Pac-Man ghost. Um, I hid some details and just did whatever I wanted. I, I asked like AI generators for like a noun and then I drew, it gave me mountains, so I drew mountains on the back of it, um, I drew a sun, I drew bubbles, I drew cookies, I, anything. Anything that came to mind. So if you think I ruined this piece, let me know. Um, I am pretty happy with the way it came out. It's super busy, I just put a bunch of graffiti, a bunch of stickers, or whatever ideas I had. And I think I will continue to cover this piece. I'll just continue, once I keep designing more stickers, I'll just keep covering this guy. I think it's kind of a fun, neat idea, and uh, I want to know what you think. Uh, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.